listen and I'll sing to you of a copper of renown. The bravest of those lads who walk the beats in Cabbage Town. For many's the crook in Toronto in 1895 was caught by Constable Crabtree, the greatest cop alive. They say he came from Newfoundland, let no one that dispute. An orphan raised by flowery ants in a house of ill repute. He greatly cared for others, as you can plainly see. So he left his home for Canada to join the RTC. So here's to Constable Crabtree, the one we do adore, the hero of Toronto and the pride of Station House 4. Some say his boss is handsome, and maybe that is true. But for every last that Murdoch kissed, George Crabtree he kissed too. The lads, they all look up to him, a role model indeed. He's like a big brother to Higgins, and a son to Brackenreed. So here's to Constable Crabtree, the one we do adore. The hero of Toronto, and the pride of Station House 4. He fought a Loch Ness monster in Lake Ontario. When spacemen tried to take his friends, he told them all to go. Met a man named Doyle from the future, who said, One day, me son, our beloved Isle of Newfoundland will join Confederation. So here's to Constable Crabtree, the one we do adore, the hero of Toronto, and the pride of Station House 4. I'll have you all to understand, George Crabtree is no dummy. When he's not busy fighting crime, he writes books about a mummy. He's tough and brave as you could wish, his presence is commanding. The bad guys tried to lay him low, but Crabtree is still standing. So here's to Constable Crabtree, the one we do adore. The hero of Toronto, and the pride of Station House 4. Here's to Constable Crabtree, the one we do adore, the hero of Toronto, and the pride of Station House 4.